Hi, everyone, and welcome back to English Grammar for Adults. Today, we are going to learn all about the simple predicate. To get started, let's read this part about what it is, because I can't remember all of it. I know what it is, but I can't remember all of this. So let's read it together. The simple predicate is the main verb or verb phrase within the complete predicate that tells us what the subject is doing or what is happening to the subject. See why I couldn't remember it? <laughs> let's make it simpler, okay? Let's ask ourselves what is the complete predicate and what is the simple predicate. Let's think about what's the difference, okay? The complete predicate includes all of the words that describe the action or the conditions of the subject, okay? So basically from that verb all the way to the end, okay? So this is our complete predicate. If this was our verb and this was the end of the sentence, period, exclamation point, whatever, all that's our complete predicate, okay? The simple predicate is just the core verb element. It's the part that tells us everything we actually really need to know. No details. No extra stuff. It's just the basic, basic thing that conveys the action, okay? Let's practice this, right? Because that's the easiest way to form a new pattern and actually learn something. Even if we don't understand it, we might actually see the pattern. I think I'm just having a hard time explaining it. <laughs> It's not even that hard. It's a simple predicate, right? Let's take a look at our examples here. Our examples. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Let's take a look at our four examples here. We have four sentences. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find, right? We're going to find our simple predicate. Let's take a look at these. The sun, where's our verb? Our verb is set, yeah? So we know our complete predicate is sets all the way to the period, sets over the horizon. That's our complete predicate. But if we think about our subject, what's our subject? Sun, right? The sun, simple predicate, sun. What happened to that sun? It set. Okay, now I get it. Sun set. Sets is our simple predicate. Too easy, right? Look at number two here. She enjoys, enjoys is our verb, right? Enjoys reading mystery novels. She enjoys reading mystery, enjoys doing something. What was that action? She is doing what? She's our subject. What's she doing? She's reading. I get it. I get it. Number, th I don't know what that was. Three. <laughs> number three. The children. What do they do? They play. In the park is the complete predicate, right? They, they played in the park. That's all that extra detail, but we don't need that. What happened? The children played. Okay, I get it. I get it. Number four, running for health is good for your health. Running for exercise. <laughs> See? I didn't even want to read it. <laughs> running for exercise is good. So running is good, is good for your health, right? <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Ugh, let's just get rid of that sentence, okay? Let's keep going. You understand now. The simple predicate can also have more than just that simple verb, right? We know this now because I had to read that whole long sentence in the beginning, right? It can have a verb phrase. So, they can involve the main verb along with one or more helping verbs to create this verb phrase. So take a look down here. The cat has been sleeping all day. Has been sleeping all day is our complete predicate. But our simple predicate is has been sleeping. See? Verb phrase. The second one is they have been practicing for the competition. Have been practicing for the competition is our complete predicate. But what are they doing? They've been practicing. Ah, I understand. They have been practicing. That's our simple predicate. Cool. We understand this, right? And to prove it, let's do a quick checkup. Complete the pred... I'm struggling with reading these. <laughs> But I'm here with you, you're here with me, let's do this together. Mistakes are okay. 
The complete predicate is underlined in each sentence below. What is the simple predicate? So basically just find the simple predicate, okay? Pause the video, write these in your notebook, find the simple predicate, and we're gonna check it, okay? Together. We can do this. Pause the video. You paused that video. I know you did, right? I looked down, I looked up, you were finished. Let's check those answers, ready? The cheerful children played in the park until the sun set. Played in the park until the sun set. Complete predicate. But what did the cheer What did the children? Well, we don't need cheerful, right? Simple subject. The children, what'd they do? Played. Children played. Next one. The sun is shining brightly. Da, 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 da. The sun is shining. Helping verb, right? Is shining. We got this. He has been working. Here's that verb phrase we just learned, right? Has been working. He has been working. Blah. The rest of it doesn't matter, right? What's he been doing? He has been working. Got it. I understand. Number four. It's a finger day today. <laughs> The delicious aroma of the fresh baked bread fills the air. What does that aroma do? Remember? Aroma. All that blah before our simple subject was aroma, right? The sentence is about the aroma. What happened to it? Fills the air. Fills. Fills the air. Now, the athletes have trained diligently for the upcoming marathon. Woohoo. The athletes, what do they do? They have trained diligently, but that's extra detail. We don't need simple predicate, right? Athletes have trained. I think you have this, right? I think you do. I, I do. I believe in you. Let's try with our first exercise. Here we go. The un <laughs> it was twice now, right? Wow. It's okay. Underline the complete predicate. Then I want you to circle the simple predicate. That wasn't hard, right? That wasn't hard. Why, why did I have such a hard time saying that? I don't know either. Take your time, write these down, underline that complete predicate, and circle that simple predicate. You ready? Pause the video. I know you paused that video. Let's take a look at the answers. I needed a moment to... Too. So I hope you use that time wisely and wrote down these answers. Let's take a look. Number one, our complete predicate is sets over the horizon and our simple predicate sets, just like we did before. Number two, are going to the zoo, are going. It's our verb phrase, right? Get that little helping verb. Bloomed beautifully. Well, beautifully is detail, so pff, simple is bloomed. Yes. Number four is good for your health. I don't like running, but it's okay. Is, 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 is the, an is, is the answer. Yeah, is, is the answer. <laughs> Number five, completed their assignments. What happened? Completed. Simple predicate. Number six, soared through the sky. What happened? Soared. Okay. Cheered for the home team. What happened? cheered. Yeah. Number eight, <laughs> captivated the audience. What happened? Captivated. Number nine, requires dedication and practice. Simple, requires. Okay. And number 10, is a popular tourist attraction. Is a popular tourist attraction. <laughs> Simple predicate, is. Wow. I'm human too. I'm leaving that mistake in. It's okay. It was funny. Let's look at exercise number two. Remember, write these down. Write these down. These are good practice for you. These are really good for you to do. That way you get used to writing these sentence patterns and finding these pieces. Because honestly, I think writing down the words and reading it in your head, the patterns, the patterns, is better than actually knowing these academic grammar rules, but we need them, so let's learn them. Okay. Identify the complete predicate and the simple predicate. Underline the complete predicate, then circle the simple predicate. Basically the same thing we've been doing, okay? But now it's in a paragraph. Pause the video, find the answers, and we'll check them. Ready? Pause. You paused it, now it's time to check it. Let's see if you got them right, but I believe in you. 
I know you did it because you're awesome. Let's check our answers. Number one. Well, it's not really a number. Let's just read the first sentence. The bustling city streets are always busy with people. Da, 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 da. Are. Are. There are something, right? The streets are. Children, what do they do? Play. They play. Number three. Not really three. The next sentence. <laughs> a fragrant breeze. Breeze. What happens to the breeze? <sighs> Blows. Cozy cafe on the corner. The cafe. What happens to the cafe? The cafe is. The old library. Library. What does the library do? It holds something. It holds the treasures. Right? It holds the books. Bicycles and scooters. Okay? So we have two things that are our subjects right there. But line the sidewalks. Simple. They do something. The bikes and the scooters line. Okay? Charming bakery. 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 We know what it's about. What does the bakery do? It fills. It fills the air, right? It fills. Majestic mount, da, da, da. mountains. Ah, I know what that's about. Mountains. Mountains are something, right? They are beautiful. They are amazing. They are big and hard to climb. Mm. Are. Families. What do they do? Gather. Families gather. We're getting this. And uh, our work, right? That's our simple subject. What does it do? It brightens up. It brightens up. Yeah. It brightens up that neighborhood. It brightens. Beautiful stuff, right? Beautiful stuff. Was it difficult? I don't think so. I think it was quite easy, right? The instructions sometimes are harder than actually doing it. So don't be scared to try stuff, especially if the description, the details, the information just seems too hard. Take a look at the examples and see if you can understand it by looking at it, by trying it. And usually, you can work it out on your own, because you're smart, right? English and other languages are about patterns, recognizing these patterns and building on those patterns to make bigger, more beautiful things, okay? I know you did well. If you have any questions, send me a message. I'm here for you. I'm here. I am. I'm here. I'm here, right here for you. I'll see you for the next lesson, okay? You're awesome.